In this problem, we have a literal equation. 1 over r equals 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 to solve for r1. It's actually pronounced r sub 1. I'm just saying r1 to save myself, <laughs> save myself a word. Okay, so r1 is down here, and we need to find it. And we have all these other fractions. So maybe let's start by getting rid of all of the fractions. So to get rid of the r, we have to multiply by r. To get rid of r1, we multiply by r1. To get rid of r2, we can multiply by r2. So to get rid of all three, we can multiply by r, r1, r2. So let's do that. So on both sides, we'll just put r, r sub 1, or r1, and then r2, times 1 over r. And then on the right-hand side, same thing. So r, r sub 1, r sub 2. And technically, it's in parentheses here, so you know I'll, I'll put the parentheses. We'll have to distribute it in, in the next step. You could... You, know, you could skip a step and just put it in front of each term. That's fine. Like you put it here, put it here, put it here. Um, that's fine. I like to show the work, like show the extra step. It's just good to know it's there. All right. On the left-hand side, uh, looks like the r's cancel. And you know this is really over one, so it's really like r over r. So they they do cancel. So we have r1, r2 equals. And now we're going to take this and multiply it by this. And again, you could skip steps, but I'll show it. So it's r, r1, r2 times, and then 1 over r1. And then plus, and then do the same thing here. So it'll be r, r1, r2 times, and then 1 over r2. All right, let's keep going. So we have r sub 1, r sub 2 equals. So here it looks like we um, lose an r1. So we get r r2 plus and then here we lose an r2 so we get r r1. All right, good stuff. So we're looking for r1, but the problem is there's one here and there's one here. So we want to get all of them together on one side. So what we'll do is we'll subtract this piece here. This is a plus r r1, so I'll do a minus r r1 to both sides. Okay, very key. You want to get everything you're looking for on one side, so it goes away. So we have this one, so r1, r2, minus r, r1, equals r, r2. All right, and these both have R1s in them, so we can factor out an R1 like this, and you write your parentheses, and then you say, hey, what goes here? What's missing to get R1, R2? You've already got the R1, you just need the R2. The minus, same thing. You already have R1, you're trying to get this, you're missing R. And here we have r, r2. And you should mentally check. r1 times r2 is r1 times r2. r1 times r is r1 times r. Everything looks okay. Almost done. One more step. r1 is being multiplied by this r2 minus r. So to divide both sides by this whole thing, by this r2 minus r. Whoops, whoops, that's not an r1 r2 minus r over r2 too many r's r <laughs> goes away so you get r1 equals r r2 over r2 minus r and that would be the final answer tons of work i hope this video uh, was helpful good luck